Welcome to episode 1485. Mark Rowan, $500 billion new CEO at Apollo Global Management. This is a picture of Mark Rowan and his wife Caroline. They have four children. Mark Rowan is famous and important as manager of $500 billion or half a trillion dollar assets. As an outline of episode 1485. Uh, the reality is that we have performed for investors in ways that few firms have performed. We have defined our business as one of excess return, and we've delivered on that promise. Uh, the most recent fund, Fund 9, roughly $25 billion, was marked up about, IRR-wise, 49% growth, high 20s net. Truly extraordinary performance. Wow. Rowan was born in 1962 to Jewish parents, a top student. He graduated summa cum laude from Wharton School, University of Pennsylvania. He would go on and earn an MBA in 1985. His first job was working for Drexel Burnham and the famous or infamous Michael Milken. Unemployed at age 28. Go. Uh, I left the Wharton School and got to choose between going to work at uh, Goldman Sachs and going to work at Drexel Burnham. I think I was the only one in my year in that time that went to work at Drexel. Uh, six years later, Valentine's Day 1990, I found myself unemployed uh, with a box walking out the front door, very much like the pictures people have seen from Bear Stearns or Lehman Brothers. In 1990, Rowan co-founded private equity firm Apollo Global Management with former Drexel Burnham colleagues Leon Black and Joshua Harris. The firm went public in March 2011. This is the graph of the stock performance of Apollo. How he became CEO of Apollo at the age of 58. March 2021, Rowan replaced Leon Black after Leon Black stepped down due to his longtime relationship with sexual predator Jeffrey Epstein. Um, look, I wouldn't be a CEO if I didn't think my stock price was undervalued. Uh, for us, I think the noise is largely behind us. Uh, this has now been up to us to execute. In 2022, Mark Rowan is 59 years old has a net worth of $4.5 billion. Now, the secret of his success. Balance in life. You never get the opportunity without some risk and some chaos. And so um, usually periods of opportunity like this follow periods of financial excess. Well, it's hard to run a business where you are perfect. You do nothing for five years. You wait for your two years of distress. You invest for two years. You go to And so what you try to do is if you're negatively biased, you try in the boom times to expect the worst and to structure things to anticipate the downside. And you deal with problems right now, but at the same time, you have to deal with opportunity. Problems and opportunity comes hand in hand. I come in each day, my morning is dedicated to defense, my afternoon to offense. And we play both very well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Mark Rowan, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.